All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for our Feature Friday. My name is Jenna Wood, and I am one of the dietitians here with The Giant Company. So for those of you who are not familiar with Feature Friday, you know, welcome if you are new to November uh, or this class in particular. Feature Friday is really where we take a brand or a company that we carry in our Giant and Martin stores, and we just we feature them. We talk a little bit more about the specifics about the company, the products, call outs that they make, maybe some, you know, if they have philanthropic work. We like to kind of touch on those things. And then most importantly, what can you do with those products once you purchase them? And what kind of health benefits do they maybe have for you as the consumer? So we are going to get started. Today, we are talking about RX Sugar. If you attended yesterday's class with Shana, she did use the RX sugar, I believe the maple syrup or the pancake syrup, depending on which label you see, uh, in her pecan walnut pie or tart. Baking is definitely one of the options. I'm going to show you another way to use the product, but we've got so much to get into. So we are going to get started. Let me just check the chat really quick. Perfect. Okay. So I do have a video to share. So I actually, and I think I have figured out, for those of you who've joined me a lot, I think I have figured out some of the issues with sharing my video and sound and stuff. So we're going to try. We're going to try this. Let us see. So I'm going to share again. I'm going to share sound. And then I'm going to go to our video. Hopefully this will work. Okay. Hello, world. We are RX Sugar, a health and wellness company disguised as a food company. RX Sugar's prime directive is to solve for sugar, the leading driver of chronic illness, obesity, and diabetes. RX Sugar is the world's best tasting, fully functional, plant-based certified sugar, syrups, and snacks. RX Sugar is a natural, plant-based certified, FDA-approved sugar called allulose. Allulose is a delicious, rare sugar from nature, not an unhealthy, bad-tasting artificial sugar, sugar alcohol, or high-intensity sweetener. Truly sugar reimagined. RX Sugar Crystal Sugar has zero calories, zero net carbs, zero glycemic index, and is blood sugar friendly. Ideal for baking and cooking, smoothies and beverages, pancakes, ice cream, and more, the sweet keto treat. RX Sugar products are non-GMO project verified, keto certified, grain-free, gluten-free certified, plant-based certified, FODMAP friendly certified, kosher certified, halal certified, NSF certified, vegan, blood sugar friendly, and suitable for people living with diabetes. RX Sugar's USDA organic certified syrup products, such as liquid sugar, chocolate syrup, pancake syrup, caramel syrup, cinnamon syrup, hazelnut syrup, and vanilla syrup are the only USDA organic certified allulose syrups on shelf in the world. RX Sugar is partners with dozens of health and wellness organizations focused on helping people live better and healthier lives. RX Sugar, there is no substitute. Okay, hopefully. No one saw the black boxes, right? I think I figured it out. Okay, perfect. We are going to keep going then. I'd love to hear, as I reshare my screen, I'd love to hear from anyone if you've ever tried RX Sugar, any of the products. I'd love to hear which ones you've tried or if this is totally new to you, because uh, that I think can really help guide our conversation today. Totally new. Wow, this is a new product. Very cool. Someone's okay. Oh, someone bought the chocolate. Awesome. Someone ordered some. Oh, wow. Okay. Very cool. Lots of different answers, but a lot have not. So good to hear. That's kind of what, you know, we're here to do. Introduce you to new products that may fit a need that you have. So they're kind of tagline, as we said, RX sugar, there is no substitute. Let's see. Of course we do. We do sell uh, the RX products. I will show you later in the presentations which ones we carry. Um, but of course, every store is going to carry a different variety of them. So a little bit of background, and I'm going to talk about what is allulose? What does it taste like? Uh, what products they have, of course, and then how to use them. So 
the kind of brand behind the brand is I love kind of a play on how to spell words, but Nutritious Brands Inc. is kind of the founding company behind RX Sugar. They were the first in the United States to commercialize the sale of allulose, which is that sugar that they talked about in the video, in the United States after the FDA excluded it from the nutrition label under total and added sugars. Because as I'll go into, it's really not. It does not function that way in our bodies. So once that you know ruling came out from the FDA, it just made total sense to start marketing it more in this country because people are looking to avoid added sugars. So a really good timing there. Other claims, just things behind their company. So they refer to themselves as sugar reimagined. I really do encourage you again, like I am totally transparent when I talk about these products and how they taste. And if you've been burned by other sugar alternatives, I really want you to give allulose a try. I I will show you the different ways I've tried it the last couple of days. And just every time I'm like, this just tastes good. It tastes like sugar. It tastes sweet, but not too sweet. So it is a natural sugar, which I'll talk about, or sugar alternative. And just, it's pretty darn good. They also kind of back into the food as medicine approach because, you know, in terms of blood sugar control, of course, people with diabetes or other conditions may need actual medication, of course, for those conditions. But food can help support that process. So you're going to be able to eat sweet foods, but still feel great, still have controlled blood sugars a little bit better than maybe if you were consuming regular sugar, right? So let's see. I will talk about um, the type of sweetener it is for sure. And of course, the price. So what is allulose? What do we mean by that? Because for most people, it's a fairly new one that they've never encountered in the market before, because really before 2019, you really weren't seeing it. You'll start to see it more in some branded products as like an added sweetener, typically in conjunction with other things like monk fruit, um, which I think some yogurts tend to have. These products are just allulose. There's no allulose plus monk fruit or sucralose or anything like that. You are getting pure allulose in these products. So it is a low calorie, or I'll kind of talk into that. So when you think about sugar, as we think of cane sugar or really any sweetener, whether it's maple syrup, honey, they all, or agave, they all have about four calories per teaspoon, um, or not per teaspoon. They have four calories per gram, rather not teaspoon, four calories per gram. The allulose sweetener is about 0.4 calories per gram. So a significant reduction. However, what we're finding is we don't even really metabolize that sugar, that even the 0.4 calories per gram. So really it's considered a very low calorie or non-nutritive sweetener because you're not really getting or metabolizing calories from it. So that's why it's also been utilized for people who are looking to lose weight in addition to the blood sugar control. Unlike some more you know, artificial sweeteners on the market, this one is more like those stevias, monk fruits in the world, because they are naturally occurring. You will be consuming allulose in nature when you're consuming things like figs, raisins, wheat, maple syrup, molasses. It is a naturally occurring compound in those things, just like fructose and other things are. So it's not artificial. We're just synthetically producing it. And by we, I mean RX Sugar or companies that use it to have more quantity of it, but it is a naturally occurring sweetener in fruits and other products. As I kind of alluded to, it is not metabolized by the body. So when we ingest it, it is not going to spike our blood sugar. It's not going to cause a need for more insulin because that's just not how it's digested in our bodies. But one of the benefits of allulose compared to some other ones, and especially since it's a more natural option, is that it has a similar taste to sugar. And I really, again, want to encourage you to try it for yourself because it really does. It doesn't have that, you know, bitter aftertaste or sometimes that chemically taste that may come across for some others. And of course, we all have different taste buds. And that's just the thing. We all ha have different food preferences and taste uh, profiles that we enjoy. But this one really, of all the ones I've tried, and I try them all, and I, you know, 
enjoy most of them, but this one really, if you were looking for a sugar alternative that tastes like sugar, this is going to be the one. The only thing, however, and I'll get into this, is that it's less sweet than sugar. So for some of the products, you may have to, in theory, use a little bit more than like, let's say it calls for a cup of sugar. You're going to have to use a little bit more because it's 70% as sweet. But if you don't love super sweet, that's a great alternative, you know, because you use less, even though it does not have any calories. And again, no bitter chemically aftertaste or taste really. Uh, it just tastes nicely sweet, like cane sugar. One thing I will call out so I don't forget it later, they do have a recommendation and I can send this in the recap email. Like any sugar alternative or really any carbohydrate sweetener or artificial sweetener, there may be GI side effects. Most people will not experience it with allulose because again, we're not really metabolizing it. It isn't a sugar alcohol that causes a lot of GI distress. It's very unique, but people can have different GI distress with various things. So they don't recommend consuming more than like 30 to 40 grams per day, especially when you're getting started with the product. 30 to 40 grams is about two and a half tablespoons of the granulated product or about three tablespoons of any of the liquid. And that's to start, you know, if you notice you really have no issues with it, you probably could tolerate more, but that that's their baseline recommendation if you're new to the product you know, anything in moderation should be safe. And then if you overdo it, that tends to be when we see issues. But for most people, that 30 to 40 grams tends to be safe. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm so glad. So nutritious sugar. So I love, when I first saw this word on their website, I was super confused, but they have, uh, their RX sugar is swealthy or sweet and healthy. Swealthy. I think that's, I, I love a good play on words. But really, you know, it is meant to be a functional, better option for people who are looking to reduce their sugar intake, but have something pretty natural and just as close to tasting like sugar as possible. And I also really like this picture because I think this can be a really great way to use it. You know, people, and this is something I didn't know until I became a dietitian, but people, you know, will sprinkle sugar on their cereal or on their fruit or whatever it is. This can be a great use for it too to help cut down on some of that added sugar. There we go. So the video really did a good job of talking through some of these, but really they're the only patented natural crystal version of this allulose out on the market right now that has this many certifications. And sometimes you get like overwhelmed seeing all of those logos and wondering what they mean. But really, you know, whatever ones call out to you as being important, they're going to have like there's no uh, certification that I feel like they do not have um, that people would be looking for in this food space. So whether or not you want something that's keto certified or you care about things being plant based or non GMO or organic or what I like here, the NSF, if you joined one of our classes, we talked about you know, some food products like this falls in a weird area because it's a food product, but we process it kind of like other products. So it is certified like maybe some protein powders and things to be safe. And it doesn't have any additives. It doesn't have anything we're trying to avoid. Other things, um, FODMAP. So if you are somebody who has followed the FODMAP diet or has IBS, their products have been certified FODMAP friendly especially their granulated one. So again, if you're somebody who has GI issues when it comes to sugar alternatives, this one is probably a really good option for you. And it's Diabetes Awareness Month. And that's one of the reasons this is a perfect call out, perfect product to talk about this month in particular. So it is really a perfect swap for people with diabetes, people with PCOS, people who are just looking again to reduce their sugar intake, which I think a lot of us really are. I love sugar. I am, you know, more than happy to talk about how much I love, you know, candy and sweet things. But when it comes to places that I can easily swap it out to then enjoy it in places that I really, really want it, I think that can really help benefit all of us. So again, zero net carbs, if that's something you're looking for on a food label, uh, it really won't impact your blood sugars. And again, everybody is different. Everyone's metabolism and everything is different. But, 
you know, per research and just, you know, studies with allulose, it should not do that to you. It should be blood sugar friendly. And as I called out, it is really easily utilized in so many different methods, whether it's in baking. So again, if you're utilizing it for baking, it will caramelize, it will brown, it will dissolve, which we cannot say for a lot of other sugar alternatives. You know, I taught food science at the university level, and it's so fun to kind of learn about the compounds and how things work in baked goods. And that's why we always say baking is a science. Cooking is more of an art. You really need to kind of consider what sugar does in baked goods. And allulose really does function pretty well as a substitute. The only thing they really want to call out, again, if you don't love super, super sweet, you maybe could do one-to-one -one ratio, but for your first go around of it, you probably want to follow the recommendation of one and a quarter cups of Rx sugar to a cup of whatever cane sugar it was calling for in the recipe. So not too much more of, you know, something to remember, but it's because it is less sweet. And, you know, you want to make sure you're getting that caramelization and taste and browning that you come to expect. They have tons of recipes on their website that I'll call out, um, but I'd love to hear, you know, if anybody tries it, what you're trying it in, like these beautiful cookies. So I will touch on their product lineup that we carry. Again, in the video, they touch on the syrups, which they have plenty of, the granulated allulose, which is the sugar alternative, these swealthy sticks that I'm going to touch on. And then they do have a couple other products on their website that we do not carry at uh, Giant and Martin's. I think it's a newer product. They have like a candy bar alternative. So could be in the future, but we do not currently carry those. As we always call out, we are talking to people from all different regions of Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, covering Giant and Martin stores. So the prices at your store and the variety and availability at your store might vary just a little bit. So I can't, you know, but these are the products. These are in our Camp Hill store. So this is the store I pulled from uh, today, what the prices are. They are on sale currently. So again, Diabetes Month, good time to try these products since they are on sale. Uh, I found them in our natural organic section in the store with any of those other types of sugar alternatives that you would find. Uh, we carry, was it two, five of the syrups, so a good majority of them, uh, the canister of the granulated sugar alternative, and then the swealthy sticks. And you can find them, obviously, Giant Direct or Martin's Direct. So this is the, uh, oh, and I will call out one more thing that I almost forgot. If you are searching for them on our website, make sure you type in Rx Sugar one word, because I tried Rx Sugar two words, which is not correct it will not come up. So make sure you type it one word if you're looking for it on our website. But I just wanted to call that out because I made that mistake. So here we have our granulated uh, sugar alternative, which is just one ingredient, allulose. When you're looking at their food labels, and this will be on a lot of them, it will touch on net carbs, which is not something I always touch on um, just in our classes, but because it's kind of hotly contested a little bit. But because we know that the sugar, allulose, is not metabolized by our bodies, it's not going to act the same way all types of carbs do. It will not be a blood sugar spiking apparatus. So that is kind of what you will see here. Very negligible increase in blood sugar. And for those of you who do not have diabetes, regular ebbs and flows of our blood sugar is perfectly fine. We want to avoid those big spikes and drops, of course. But this one, so great. I mean, it looks... It does look a little bit different than like a traditional sugar, just the way the granules are. It's a little bit more chunky, I guess, for lack of a better word. It reminds me of something. I got to think of it, but it doesn't have a smell. It dissolves pretty well. I will talk about that with the um, swelthy sticks. If you notice, you know, especially in colder beverages, you may be better off using the liquid version because liquids just melt, you know, dissolve better in liquids than a solid will, but give it a moment and it will. It might not be instantaneous, but it will mix in very seamlessly. Uh, and as I called out again, um, this should say 1.25 cups of the um, 
Well, that one says the liquid sugar. So that's the wrong one anyway. But 1.25 cups of the granulated equals one cup of like a refined white sugar. Then we have the liquid allulose, uh, which is just, again, one ingredient allulose. These, so any of the syrups, liquids, you do want to refrigerate upon opening, uh, but they do have a really great shelf life. You just want to store them in the fridge. Really simple to use. I just tried it in um, a club soda. So I will show you that. It tastes like cream soda. It's good. It's so good. I, I am honestly blown away. Oh, this here we have um, one cup of RX liquid sugar is equivalent. So the liquid portion is equivalent to, let's say you want to use a simple syrup to make a mocktail or something. Um, it would be equivalent quantity for the liquid as opposed to the granulated, which the quantity is a little bit different. Um, no, the protein bars of a similar name are not the same company. That is what happened when I looked up um, when I was trying to find these on the website for the first time. That's a great question. Then we have the chocolate syrup. So if you remember, I did talk about another um, like no sugar chocolate syrup a couple months ago, I think, and I won't call out who it was, but I took a spoon of this earlier today just to kind of try it. It is so good. It on ice cream. I'm making a hot chocolate today. If you've been, again, if you've been burned by the taste or the aftertaste, it tends to be the aftertaste that's worse, but this just the chocolate syrup. So good. It is probably my favorite. Well, there's also a hazelnut, so I'm going to show that one too. And the maple syrup, they're all good. Nutrition, very similar uh, because it's all it is, is allulose. Potentially, this one does have a little bit of organic cocoa powder to make it chocolate, but it just tastes, it just tastes good. And I did give it a little shake to make sure everything was mixed together, but it's just good. And so the two tablespoons here um, has 22 grams of allulose. So again, if you noticed the 30 to 40 grams recommendation to kind of start off with, if you're using that two tablespoon recommendation, you're under that threshold. So if you use a little bit more, you should still be okay. Then we have the pancake, organic pancake syrup. You may see um, on their website, they did call out, they had been undergoing, you know, repackaging formulation. So you may see different images or different call outs. Like mine says organic maple. This one tastes really good too. On their website, on reviews I read on other websites, People were blown away by the texture or the viscosity, probably a better word, um, of the maple syrup because often for those sugar alternatives, they're too thin. They just, which regular maple syrup is fairly thin, or it can be. This has a really nice thickness um, and can stand up to being poured on pancakes or whatever you, protein pancakes or whatever you are doing. Again, very comparable nutrition to the other syrups. This one just has a little bit of caramel color and some organic maple flavor uh, in addition. But again, still that FODMAP certified, all of the certifications that are called out on the other products. I, I hope your store gets it as well. And make sure you do check um, in the natural organic like sweetener section. But yeah, I think if people are calling out for it, I would hope they would bring it in for you as well. Of course, we do, before I get into the swallowy sticks, um, we do have other varieties in our stores as well. I, I picked up, I am a huge hazelnut fan, like hazelnut latte, um, like Nutella, which has that chocolate hazelnut. Like I am a hazelnut fan. I took a spoon, I took a spoon of all the flavors just to kind of try it on its own. And you can't always do that with a lot of sugar alternatives. Cause again, they can have a weird taste. This was so good. And I'm going to add this into my hot chocolate to have like a hazelnut chocolate, hot chocolate. It's gonna be great, I know it is. Okay, so then this Wealthy Sticks. This is something so different from any other sugar alternative brand I have ever seen. They are supposed to be an alternative to, I don't know if I should say the brand name, but basically if you have a paper tube stick that had sugar in it and you would eat them as a kid or maybe as an adult. I know a lot of runners that use it because, you know, when you're a runner, you typically need some quick energy. This is kind of made as an alternative to that. <laughs> so the first time on the package, it does say that you can mix one of the sticks. So they look like this. So you can just 
eat it. And I did do that last night. It's very good. I was shocked. Um, but you can also mix it one stick into three to five ounces of water. I did mix it into the club soda. It is good. It will make like a sparkling water with a hint of flavor and sweetness. It is not, you know, overly flavored. So if you like a lot of flavor in your seltzer waters or flavored waters, you may need to use more than one. That's just my call out there. But really its main function was supposed to be a, you know, sugar stick, granulated sugar candy alternative. And really you're supposed to just rip it open, pop it in your mouth. It's very good. I tried the raspberry. Yeah, the raspberry, very good. They have a sweet tea flavor too. That's what I added into my uh, water the other day. Very good. But again, just a very light flavor, which, you know, we're trying to back off from doing too much sweetness anyway. And that's, what's really nice about allulose is that it's not, you know, 300 times sweeter than sugar. It's actually a little bit less sweet. So we can just kind of retrain our taste buds to enjoy the less intense sweetness, right? So I think this product is just so fun. So again, you want, you, you have that like sweet craving maybe later at night. This would be a really fun thing to kind of try. And a, a nostalgia thing too, because 2022, 2023, a lot of food trends were about nostalgia foods. And I mean, talk about that, like a candy that you can just eat and it is made with allulose. So it doesn't have any added sugars. So fun. And one pack is only 10 grams of the allulose. So in theory, you could eat three to four and be within that, you know, starter range of the allulose grams. So how are we going to use it, right? What should we be using the allulose for? And these are just some examples I came off on the top of my head from looking at their Instagram and just thinking how I would use it. I'd love to see in the chat if you have other ideas that you would do. But in terms of the granulated one, again, it looks, it's a little chunkier than regular sugar, but it very much can be used in that capacity, but you could sprinkle on cereal. Again, if you're somebody like my dad who will sprinkle granulated sugar on his checks or whatever cereal it is, this is gonna taste the same and not have that blood sugar spiking ability. In baked goods, remembering the ratio again of 1.25 cups of this for every cup of sugar the recipe called for. In coffee, especially hot coffee, this would work fine. It would blend in very easily or to sweeten plain yogurt. So if you're somebody who's looking to reduce your sugar intake um, and know that a lot of yogurts have a ton of sugar, this could be a very easy way to add sweetness that would blend in well. This wealthy sticks. So again, you could add it into water, seltzer, club soda, or it's real meaning was to be a um, sugary candy alternative, the allulose syrup. So that is really a simple syrup option alternative. So whether you want to use it in mocktails or to sweeten other types of beverages, um, especially those colder ones. So really great in something like an iced coffee or a sweet tea. 100% how I'm going to be using it because I love, love sweet tea. In coffee, again, like iced coffee or in baked goods as well, just like Shana used, you know, you can use an allulose syrup like that. Other ones, so like the maple. So you, if you want to use it on pancakes or waffles mixed directly into milk, the chocolate, the hazelnut, the caramel, there's a cinnamon flavor. All of these would be so good just to flavor milk, uh, lattes, homemade granola. They do have a granola recipe on their website, but granola can be a healthy option. It tends to be the sugar and sometimes the fat um, that we overdo it with, with granola drizzled on ice cream, the chocolate, the hazelnut. Mm, it's going to be good. And then in oatmeal as well. Again, I'm sure there's a million other ways you could use it, but those were just the ones that came to the top of my head. I know we're right at 1230. So if you have to drop off, no issues there. I will send out the recording and the recap, but um, I just have two more slides. So their recipes, they do have a recipe database on their website. Mostly it seems like they're created by influencers, people who use their products. Some of the recipes I would say are more so geared towards um, like keto people or people who are adventurous with their cooking. Like some of the recipes are awesome, but kind of more unique. Um, so, but knowing you can utilize the allulose, the RX, you know, the powder or the syrups in just about anything, you really can make it whatever you want it to be. But they do have a ton of recipes 
on their website that I will link to and on their social media pages. The one I am going to just show, and then I will get to all the questions because I know there is a lot uh, that I haven't gotten to yet. But on their website, this I had to scroll. I scrolled pretty much down to the bottom, uh, but I found a low FODMAP hot chocolate. So again, for those of you unfamiliar with FODMAP diets, people who have IBS that's really not responding to other things, or they're looking to follow an elimination diet to see what they need to eliminate, FODMAP is kind of where they get started. So the reason this is FODMAP friendly, you're going to use almond milk or lactose-free milk because lactose is one of the FODMAPs. You're going to use some cocoa powder. And this is where I'm going to change it. You can use, or it calls out to use the liquid sugar. So just the regular, uh, where do I have it? Just the regular allulose. It just is nice and sweet. You could use that. I'm going to use a combination of chocolate and the hazelnut, some cinnamon, vanilla, instant coffee. We sell instant espresso in our stores in the baking aisle. I think it's in the baking aisle. It might be with the ground coffee now that I'm thinking about it. Um, it's delicious. And then any kind of chocolate. So I did some dark chocolate chips that I had left over in my cabinet. So I am going to stop sharing really quickly. And I do just want to show you. So hopefully it's not too hot. I already did this. So I already boiled together. You can see the film because it was milk. Um, I did use our lactose free. I used the Fairlife milk because it's lower sugar, higher protein anyway. So, you know, if you're looking to reduce your sugar, that's a good option. It's also higher in protein. So I am going to, and that has the milk, the cocoa powder, the extra chocolate, the vanilla, and the espresso powder. I just used a regular old baking cocoa in here to make the hot chocolate. But I'm just going to take a measuring cup. Honestly, I cooked it before we got started because I knew I would need it to cool down by the time I wanted to try it. So I am going to add, well, let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit more chocolate because why not? And again, this is just so delicious. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the, um, maybe I could, I'm gonna be real careful pouring it over my laptop, but I mean, it is, it's thick. It looks like any other chocolate syrup you may be used to. So I added that, a tablespoon of that, and then I'm gonna do a tablespoon, because it calls for two tablespoons. This should make like two to three servings, um, but I'm using the organic uh, hazelnut. It's just something about chocolate hazelnut latte just sounds real dark, or not latte, hot cocoa. So this one's gonna be clear. Um, the only real one that has color is the chocolate syrup and then the maple. Maple would be really good too. It'd all be good. And then I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. You remember I got my mug here. All right, let's give it a try. It smells so good. It is very chocolatey and it's not too sweet. If you wanted it to be sweeter, of course, you could just add a little bit more. That was only two tablespoons of the allulose sugar, you know, the syrups for two and a half cups of milk. So you definitely could add a little bit more, but I really don't think it needs it. And the espresso in there, mm, it is so good. I really like it. And I will share that recipe. The only other thing I really wanted to show you, because again, like we're all looking for ways to hydrate better without, you know, tons of sugar and soda is one of those big things. So I have our uh, giant brand club soda. I'm just going to pour. And this I did see on their website as well. One of their employees kind of came up with it, um, but just plain. This one doesn't have any sodium, anything like that. It just has a little potassium added, but then all they did where is it? I'll make sure I have it. It's just they added some of their organic allulose. However much you want. It could be a tablespoon, two tablespoons. I'd go by your taste. I'm going to do that much. That's probably about a tablespoon. And I would always, like everything else, go slow, add a little bit. If you need more, add more. You can never take it away. <laughs> so make sure you kind of start a little bit. Like, I would like a little bit more. Okay, let's see. I'm telling you, it tastes like cream soda, which is 
my like childhood favorite soda. So for me, like, again, a little bit of added sugar is not the problem. It's just, it's, it's ubiquitous. It's in everything we consume. So this is something I'm going to drink a lot now. I can feel it. And I do just want to show you this wealthy sticks. I'm sorry. I'm very grateful for all of you hanging in a little bit longer, but this wealthy sticks, this is just the coolest thing. Uh, so you just open it and I'm just going to kind of show you onto my hand, but it just, it's a granulated, it's bright in my kitchen, but it's just granulated and then you eat it. What flavor is this? That's fruit punch. That's, I'm not a big fruit punch fan. That's actually really good. It has like an orangey. If you like fruit punch, that's a really good one. Well, thank you so, so much. I will get to questions once we uh, stop recording, but thank you again so much for joining me today for National Diabetes Awareness Month and for our presentation about RX Sugar, an allulose sweetener alternative. I really hope you try it and please do let me know what you think of it. Hope you have a good one.